Shortly after sunset, the sky is adorned by pinpoints of lights that we call stars. On clear, moonless night far away from distracting city lights, as many as 2,000 to 3,000 stars may be visible to your naked eyes. As you stargaze, your mind might group the stars into many different patterns. So as our ancestors for thousands of years, humankind has been stargazing for millennia, and people of every culture give names to patterns in the sky. For example, the pattern Greek named Orion was seen by the ancient Chinese as a supreme warrior called Shen. Hindus in ancient India also saw a warrior and named it Skanda. Astronomers have divided the night sky into areas that belong to a certain group of stars. Any place in the night sky belongs to some constellation. The constellation Orion includes the stars in a pattern and the region where the stars are found. The word constellation derived from Latin word co means together or group and stella means star. International Astronomical Union have divided the night sky into 88 constellations. You guys can check out the International Astronomical Union website where they offer in-depth information about the 88 constellations including the constellation figures, names, charts and tables for your further and detailed references. And if you want to know about a constellation specifically, you can click on the name of the constellation and you'll be able to see a map of area which constellation resides. Stars in these constellations are not necessarily near to each other. This is just a convenient way to identify particular part in the night sky. No one knows when these constellations were first named, although some names can be traced back 5,000 years ago. The official names of the constellations from Northern Hemisphere can be traced back from the ancient Greek, other cultures from Southern Europe, Middle East, and Northern Africa. Well, the names of the constellations of Southern Hemisphere are given by the 17th century European explorer. Learning your way around the constellations has never been easier. Use apps such as Celestron Sky Portal, Stellarium, and Sky Safari to guide your way around the constellations. Based on the apps that I'm using right now, Celestron Sky Portal, you can click on the object and then you can see a more detailed information about the object and also the stories behind the objects so that you get more information and know the objects in the night sky intimately. And if you guys are feeling adventurous, you can download your own sky map and print it out based on the month and your latitude at skymaps.com. Choose the suitable map for your part of the sky. For example, in Malaysia, I've chose equatorial map which they will provide updates of the events in the night sky and also a star map. You guys can also watch my previous vlog on how to locate the stars through the star map. Recognizing 20 to 40 constellations is enough to make the entire sky seem familiar. The best way to learn about the constellations is to go out and view them.